Hey, hey guys. guys, so we're about to start our second part of the Utah trip. We're gonna head down to Bryce Canyon where we're gonna kick off our adventure around national parks in South Utah. I can't wait. Let's get the hell out of Salt Lake City and go to nature. <laughs> Okay guys, it's 6 p.m. and we just decided to leave our camp because there was nothing much to do there. And we got right into the national park right now. We are going to a sunrise point to see the canyon for the first time. So these limber pines are pretty awesome because they were growing on the edge of the rim and rim is eroding by this at one to four feet every century. So as it's eroding the trees are just hanging for their life with their roots. What a great introduction to the park. We came to three points, the sunrise, sunset and inspiration point and it's breathtaking, it's so beautiful and now that the sun is gone, the rocks look so red, they're called hoodoos actually. Can't wait to hike tomorrow. Are you excited about hiking? Super excited. I just hope the weather is going to be nice. It should be. Oh my god, so Kai just spotted something really creepy. Can you see? Doesn't it look like a face? Oh my god! This is totally jinx this place. I don't think I want to come back now. Oh my god, it's so scary. <laughs> oh my god. Okay guys, quick interlude about the car. So the car that we had from Turo, we had so many issues with it, I was really happy to give it back. I actually had another car booked on Turo and I just cancelled it because I didn't want to deal with it. So this morning I went to Enterprise and the day before I got the promotion code to upgrade me from intermediate to standard. The guys at the branch here in Salt Lake City were absolutely awesome and they offered to give me this massive car when they heard that we are going camping. So they gave me this huge Chevrolet Suburban. It is bigger than our house in Hong Kong and we have our tent but we decided that we're not actually going to use the tent. We're probably going to sleep in the car. It's 10 p.m. We're about to go to sleep. We just managed to get all our gear out inside the car and we're going to test out this baby as a hotel room tonight. Uh, we couldn't be bothered to like put all our tent stuff out on the ground. Um, so yeah, let's see how it goes. We'll let you know in the morning. Morning guys. This wasn't too bad. I got up. Maria is still sleeping. I'm still gonna drive a portable house right to the toilets so that we can prepare to get into the park. This is the life we're living right now. Let's go. All right, it's 7.30 a.m. and we made sure that we didn't have any breakfast, nothing, just went to the toilets and drove straight here to Bryce. And there is no one, no tourists, nobody. We have the whole place to ourselves. So we're gonna do a couple of trails in the morning, uh, probably an hour, an hour and a half before the crowds come in. And then uh, we'll see what we'll do next. Okay, now it makes sense. This place is called Queen's Garden because this hoodoo resembles the statue of Queen Victoria in London. Here, yeah. it does look like her, her head, her arms, and her dress. Tokai
I made yet another insightful observation. <laughs> he says those uh, hoodas look like bones, like human bones. Do they? What do you think? This is all our breakfast gear. <laughs> Anyways, we drove for about 20 to 30 minutes. We finished our hike here at Sunrise Point and then we drove all the way down to Rainbow Point. And we're very hungry so we're gonna have breakfast and then probably we're gonna go all the way back up, just making some stops along the way. Our breakfast today is bread with uh, peanut butter and bananas and some apples and coffee. Do you want to show everyone your mug? Very proud of this. About 9 p.m. right now the sun is setting and our beds are made here inside the car I'm gonna do some editing and call it a night hey guys bye hey guys so we made it to Capitol Reef and I didn't really read much about this national park but as we started approaching it we realized there was so much beauty in these red rocks that surrounded that park uh, from all sides so we left some of our stuff at the campsite and now we drove to a little hike that we were recommended in the visitor center um, and you can see that the starting point is already really beautiful uh, it's got you know these red sandstone rocks and there's a lot of people sitting there by the river actually drawing they're drawing the landscape, so hopefully this should be good. We just finished our hike to the bridge and came down. It took us about one and a half hours and it's beautiful and way more than I expected. I realized that you get surprised and you appreciate much more when you actually have no idea what to expect. So this is a place that I never seen any pictures or read much about. So it was a pleasant surprise. And now we're gonna take a bit of a rest and continue either go into some vista points or maybe do the scenic drive which is like a two hour drive um, around this area. Today's vlog here, have a nice meal and go to sleep because we're so tired. <laughs> but tomorrow we're gonna start driving towards Monument Valley, that should be a lot of fun, so stay tuned. Bye! Bye! <laughs>